Hey guys, so the day has come. Not the day that I'm gonna water cool my system, we're not there yet. But you can see there's my triple radiator with my rings on them. My CPU block, which cost me like 27 euros, I think. My pump, which cost like 11, uh, not pump, yes, pump is here. So my pump, which cost me like 11. My um, reservoir, some leftover that I have from the Ragent Tech connection piece, which came with the reservoir fittings. These are from Barrows. So uh, they were pretty cheap too, but should be good. These are compression hard tube fittings, so not the regular ones. The pump has some plexiglass on it, looks really good. I'm gonna put some LEDs in there. I'll, I'll do the same with the block. There will be some green LEDs in there. What I try to do is get a cheap as possible custom loop without losing on the performance. So this should be good. All these are copper. So this is a copper radio, a radiator with a copper block, copper nickel, I think. But the thing is, um, the cooling fluid that I want is not out yet and it's very expensive to ship to the Netherlands and it will be only available in the Netherlands in like December. So I have to think of something, but for now I'm just gonna test how stable this loop is by just letting it run outside of my system. So I have some distilled water and I have a bunch of it actually. And I have some XPS, I don't remember the name, but this tubing with some silicone in it already and I have uh, five more of these so I'm gonna sacrifice this one to make a loop outside of the system and just let it run for a couple of days uh, clean it and flush it with distilled water and maybe add the fluid if I find out what's the composition inside because I need something that will not corrode it or something I can run distilled water actually but I, I would feel safer if I have something that is anti-corrosive I'm gonna quickly start out by showing you how these fittings work because they come a little bit odd. So once you unpack them, you have to unscrew the fitting. Like I said, it's a compression hard tube fitting. And then there will be two rings on the inside, but there needs to be a third one. So that's probably still in the back. Oh no, it's in here. All right. so. You can see there's two that come outside and two that's already inside. So um, what you have to do is um, take the small one and put it inside and push it all the way down. So it will be in the back. So that's what the tube is going to push against. And the bigger one goes inside the compression. So like this. And then you will put this over the tube and then you can compress it. But I'm just gonna do it like this for a second so I can mount them. So I know where to work with. So we have the block here. I'll just screw it in. And there's already like a O-ring on the bottom so you don't have to worry about that. So now we're gonna assemble the reservoir. It's not really hard. I will eventually also put an LED in there so it will light up too. But the threads are really well made, I have to say. So the best thing I would have is putting a tube in here, but I can't actually do that because I couldn't find an, a drain port in time that I could get. So I'll have to do it a little different. Here we have the pump. And it's going to be mounted like this. So this one is going to the left and this one up. So this one goes in here. And this is just for the testing setup. So hang on, let me remove the camera a little. All right, so um, that goes on here. All right, so the pump and the Reservoir are attached. This is how it looks. Doesn't look bad, especially considering the price I paid. But it will all come together in the end when I see if it leaks or not. So, so I'm gonna install these fittings on that radiator, and then I actually need to start with the tubing. So now the fans are removed and the fittings are attached. Now, 
everything has a fitting on it. And that should be it actually. So now we're gonna start out with the tubing, play it, plan it out, bend it, probably break it, and then hope that this thing doesn't leak. All right, so I put some old clothes on so I don't care if they're gonna break, but I have my... Ugh. So I've never done this before, and I'm gonna eyeball this because this is the setup I'm gonna do. I have some spare light here. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna start with this one because it's the smallest and it has height difference. So I'm just gonna heat it up. Let me see. I'll heat it up right here. So I'm just turning it around. As you can see, it's orange now. There. Yeah? I know this is pretty hard to see from the camera, probably. Alright, so that's pretty high. I need to get that much lower, but... Yeah, I... Let me see if I can do that. So I could start from here. Yes, I can bend... If I would bend this down, I can do that. That's also what I'm probably gonna do, so. So I'm pretty sure this is a very stupid idea, but I put a jigsaw upside down in a clamp, which is pressed down. Oh, it's actually loose, so I have to do that again. Which I'll tighten on the table. And then I will just take the tube and put it over and pray that it works, so we will see. So I put it on the floor. This is absolutely the worst idea, but I... I think it's actually gonna work, so we will see. It's gonna make a lot of noise though, and I don't know what time it is. We're almost there. There we go. That's actually a clean cut. It's not completely straight, but it's pretty well clean. <sighs> so I need to sand it a bit. So that actually worked out. As you can see, the bend was not warm enough, so it's not a 90 degree, but I'll get that working. So I'll bend this side now and bend it a little over 90. It should be okay. I might be even able to bend this one a little more. The bend is actually not bad, and I did get the height difference, but not enough. So I'm going to cut away some of the other ones, but it should be okay. Yeah, this is not a good looking bend. And it's still warp. Oh, that's not bad actually. It's not terrible. But you can see that it was too hot. Like these bubbles are on there. So this is the bend I did now. One side is too hot. You can see that by the bubbles. Yeah. So that's what it looks like when you do it too hot. And this one is decently. But I, I, I think I know what to do to get it better. So the next one will improve. So this is a good idea to sacrifice one of the tubes. So the next piece, a little higher. So look at this contraption, so I have my radiator mounted there. It's uh, rubber, so it's not pressing on it. My tubes, which some look terrible and some look decent. I think I learned a lot from doing these, so yeah. I have my reservoir so I can fill it with uh, water. My pump is down here. The pump pumps it into the CPU block, the CPU block into the radiator, the radiator will go round and then back into this. So this is the way I'm going to test it, I'm going to leave it it's at the sink so when it leaks it doesn't really matter. And I have this uh, power supply here and I will make it hook up and then throw it on. But first I'm going to fill it with distilled water, this is such a dumb idea. But if it works, even, even if this doesn't leak, then I'm very sure it will never leak because I've absolutely rushed this because I just wanted to get it working and I would do a much better job when doing it on the computer. So let me fill this up. And put the still water in now. Turn on the power and I have to put it off and I have never seen the flow of it. So let's go. So that was very fast. All right. It didn't even make much noise. The pump was pretty quiet, so that works too. So I, it went into the radiator. Hey, this is looking good, guys. 
this might actually work. So this distilled water is almost empty. Alright, let's turn this on again. You may never let the pump run dry, so that's why I stop it. This distilled water is almost empty, so I have to grab another bottle here. Still got it to full. Yeah, I'm just going to run it one more time. Alright, with this, the circle is closed. But uh, nothing is leaking so far. I will inspect the radiator in a second because that's my biggest worry. And I'll leave this set up like this for at least till tomorrow. So it will run overnight. And then I'll see. So you can see the water flow because of the bubbles. But it's actually running through everything. And no leak. So even the radiator doesn't leak anywhere. I would see drops coming down. But you can see bubbles are getting up there. The pump is down there. It's pretty quiet. Alright, let's turn this color to something else. Alright, so I have to film it from here. You will see the red go in and I will start to move the camera as soon as possible if, I, if, if when I put the drops in. So I have red here, hang on, so you can see, that's a lot, but yes, it's working, there you go, a red loop, and you can see the red inside the block, that looks good, if that's going to be all green and it's going to light up, that's going to look very nice. So I'm going to close this and let it run till tomorrow. And I'm actually going to do something. I'm going to lay paper towels everywhere. So if it drops, I will see it because the paper towel will stay damaged from the water. So And red probably. So yeah, let's let this run through. So I got to explain something. The noise is pretty loud, but there's two things going on. If I lift this up, you can hear it go quieter. That's because this is trembling, the, the metal on earth. The second thing is this one. It's actually 13.8. It's running at 13.2. I measured it with a multimeter because I can stick it in here. I have the multimeter there, but it's running over 12 volts, which is not damaging, but it makes it run faster. The second thing is my computer can toggle the pump voltage up and down depending on the temperature of the process. So it will run at like 50%. 70% on the full load. It will never run like this. So it's normally not that loud, I would say. Otherwise, I will get another pump. But so far, it's been running for like 20 minutes. No leaks. It's really cool how the block looks. And you got to imagine how cheap this was. And nothing is leaking. The hard tubing is done in terrible ways experimenting. But it's still leak-free. And I've stress tested it, like I can do this, I can pressurize it, I can wiggle it around on any of the tubes. And there's no drop coming out, you can see even red on the inside of the pump, which is pretty cool. You can see it in there. And it will light up later, so that will be much cooler, but still dope. So you can see it moving. And I actually don't have much bubbles in there, like air gaps or something, but this is a very small tubing setup. So uh, nothing from the radiator, the one that I was most worried about because the quality of this thing is decent but not the best. So, um, and it's copper so they have to save on something but it's not leaking so I'm very glad. The fittings are not leaking, everything is fine. And the block from the back side. So I'll leave this running for a good 24 hours and uh, yeah. Then we'll continue with this video and see if it all worked and the towel should get wet then it will stay red probably. I'll test it out actually hang on let me test that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this. See like I'm putting pressure on it and nothing leaks. So I'll take a drop of the water and actually put it myself like this. See? So that's red and you can see the damage in there. 
So if it would leak anywhere overnight, it would not dry away because it will stay broken. So this one we have as reference. If that one leaves, then this test is not valid. But um, I don't think it will. So I'm gonna screw this back on. See, I put pressure on it, I can wiggle this, nothing is leaking. This is crazy. And you have to imagine, this is not even all, I have more stuff, but I paid 124 euros in total, including shipping, for the whole water cooling setup. And I have like four more of those half a meter tubes and stuff, so that's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna leave it here. I won't be able to post a video today. It's unfortunate because we just hit 2,000 subscribers. Like just, I just checked and I have 2,001 subscribers. So that's pretty awesome. I would have loved to drop an update on the water cooling on 2K, but uh, at the moment I don't have anything. So I have to wait 24 hours to post this. So yeah, I'm really impressed and really happy. That's cool. Soon I will have water cooled computer. But yeah, we'll be back in 24 hours, so see you then. So it's actually been two days. I've been a little ill and stuff. And uh, two days later, no leaks. It has been working perfect. The red actually became much darker. It looks really good. Now I'm going to flush the system a couple of times and keep it... I don't know. I'm going to keep it assembled, but I'm not going to run anything through it because I'm not sure about the composition in the stuff. But I've ordered some temporary fluid. I will not be able to get the Primo Chill view for at least a good four months because of availability and shipping prices. So I had to get something else and that will be there and then I will water cool. But I have confirmed the system is fully working. So now I'm going to flush it and uh, clean it. So it's empty now, but I still need to flush it. So I'm going to use the distilled water a couple of times and flush it. So the system is now pretty clean and uh, I don't see any red anymore so that's pretty good that makes me and I don't see anything except for air of course now but I don't see any residues of something are going through so the radiator is clean too I flush it like four or five times and I can just topple it out like this and keep moving the radiator around and uh, get all the water out and then just refilled a little and I spilled it. Oh, that's actually not good. Be right back. So I want to see how the green looks. So I'm actually going to fill it with the green one. Because cleaning it is actually really easy. I'm going to try to make the make it look so you can see it all. But That's like a tree green. Since I knew that new ordered new fluid anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let me try to mix some stuff. I'm gonna throw some red in there too. So I put one drop of red in there and it's actually turning like this orange green red. It's really cool. It looks good. Look, you can see it's green on top, but it gives this orange hue. So I'm gonna think that's actually gonna look really cool if it's gonna combine. So I'm gonna turn on off the pump a couple times. Hang on. This is the cool thing, this thing is so leak free that I can just shake it around like a maniac. I can just do this and it's not leaking anywhere even though I can just still move it around and stuff. Oh, this color is actually really cool. It's like three colors at once. It's green, yellow and orange at the same time. You can see the yellow in there and the green. That's amazing. It doesn't just do that on camera, it's in real too. So that's really cool. I'm gonna leave that till I get my real water cooling and just gonna leave it running for a couple days more. So the verdict is paid $124 including shipping for this whole water cooling setup and I have more left. As you can see I also have like four more of 50 centimeter tubes, PETG and uh, more distilled water which um, I did now order for like 23 euro I ordered some more um, fluid because I didn't get the VU so that's gonna gonna be included in the price so it's like 140 for a complete custom water cooling set and it will be this is not the everything this is just one of the 50 centimeters pipes so this is amazing it's working I have shaken it around I've done crazy things with it it doesn't leak at all the fittings are good 
the the copper radiator doesn't leak. The reservoir is good enough. It doesn't need to be huge. This is good enough. I like that it isn't so big. The pump is a little loud, but I will regulate the voltage so that will be better. But this thing also makes noise, so I can't really realistically judge about it. I love how the CPU block looks. It looks really good. So this is crazy for the price that I paid. I have a full custom water cooling kit that will go on to my Core P3. And I also received more of my wraps, so I'm gonna wrap this one, and now this, I'm gonna wrap this video up. So thanks for watching. Be sure to watch for out for the future update of this, because in the next week, I will water cool my computer with this. I'm fully trusting this now that this will be leak free, and I'm gonna do it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.